spring break is upon us and if you want to get the kiddos out of the house and outside for a little bit, we've got a really fun outdoor activity that is all about the movements of water. All right, two really important things for this experiment. Because we're gonna puncture a water balloon, make sure that you're outside somewhere so that things don't get too crazy messy. Also make sure that there's a parent or guardian around because we are gonna have to use a sharp tool to puncture the water balloon. So we'll need water balloons. You can make as many as you like, whatever shape or color. You'll need a bowl to hold the water balloon and then something to catch the water that will eventually come out of the balloon. But if you're outside on your patio and you don't mind that your patio gets a little bit wet, that's fine too. Sidewalk can get wet, totally okay. You'll need some electrical tape and make sure it's electrical tape because it's going to get wet and so it'll need to hold its shape. Masking tape is not gonna work for this. And then why you need your parent, a sharp object, something like a box cutter. That's what we're gonna use today. First things first, we have our balloon in the bowl and then we're gonna put the electrical tape on the balloon. And you wanna do this in a square, but make sure that the center is a pretty small surface area. So it's almost like you're making a pound sign here with the electrical tape so that you want a small center and that's where we're gonna puncture the balloon. Now that we've got our tape on our balloon, it's time to puncture a hole in it and then the water will start to come out. Here we go. All right, let's try this again with a slightly bigger balloon. Pay attention to how different the water looks when it's going into the pan than when it's coming out of the balloon. Check it out. <laughs> so this water coming out of the balloon, it almost looks like it's not moving. That's because it has laminar flow, which means it's moving at the same velocity. It all has the same characteristics. This flow going into the pan, that's turbulent flow. That means the water is getting mixed and moved in different directions. And that's why it looks different. So even though it looks like this water isn't moving, it totally is. <laughs> Put your own little twist on this activity by changing the size of the hole on the balloon. If you make it bigger or smaller, how does that change things? We hope you enjoyed this outdoor activity during spring break. And when all is said and done, take all those leftover balloons and have yourself a good old fashioned water balloon fight. <laughs> Katie Blake, KSAT 12 News.